Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about Ford Fluids. Man, this is confusing. If you are new to Ford and trying to change out your fluids, then you gotta pay attention to this. Depending on the year of your vehicle, it can really be confusing. So what I have today is a 2006 F-150. This is a four wheel drive. So let's talk about the most important fluids. Number one is oil. Okay, well that doesn't really matter. As long as you use the right viscosity, you're pretty much good to go use synthetic. Number two is transmission fluid, right? Transmission fluid is the number two most important fluid to make sure that you get as many miles as you possibly can out of your vehicle. So which transmission fluid do you use? Well, let's come over here. Let's look at the man right here. Transmission fluid, use Mercon. Well, here's the problem. That original one is not made anymore. So what Ford did is they came out with this one right here, which is either a, a five or a V depending on, uh, you know, I've heard it said both ways. Anyway, this is the correct one to take the place of the straight Mercon. Now look at this one right here. Here's the LV or L5, which says Mercon automatic transmission fluid. Now this is the correct fluid for some Ford vehicles, but not this particular truck that we're driving here because this one is calling for Mercon. This here is only good if and for use in automatic transmissions and transfer cases where Mercon LV is specified. So they do not want you to use this if it's asking for regular Mercon. This one here states, it's recommended for use where Mercon 5 is specified. The second line says, use an automatic and manual transmission and power steering systems previously serviced by Mercon. Got it. So this one right here, is the correct one to use for replacing regular Mercon, again, that Ford doesn't make anymore. This one right here is the correct one to use if your vehicle is asking for the LV. Okay, now that we have that straight, let's dive into the next part that's confusing. Again, I have a 2006 F-150. The vehicles kind of change with the age, but this one right here is the correct one to use for power steering and transmission in my vehicle. However, today I'm gonna to be working on my transfer case. Is this the right one to use for the transfer case? Well, let's come over here and see. Transfer case fluid, they're asking for Mercon. All right, well, which Mercon? Now don't forget the Mercon that took the place of Ford's old Mercon is Mercon 5, this one right here, not this one right here. However, when we come to the back of this, it states, Do not use in transfer cases. Just in case we missed it. Do not use in transfer cases. Got it. So to add to the confusion, what you want to use for the actual transfer case in this vehicle is this one right here, the L5. So the long and short is for the particular vehicle that I'm working on for the transmission and the power steering, I'm going to use this one here. That's the correct fluid to use. For the transfer case, it feels like this might be the right one, but it clearly says on the back, do not use this for transfer cases. And I've heard stories that you really don't want to use it. It will blow up the transfer case. So this is the right one for transfer cases. This is the right one for transmissions and power steering fluid. Now, again, final thing to state here is this is a 2006 F-150 it is going to be different in some of the vehicles. So you're gonna to have to check your own owner's manual or call Ford service to see. While we're talking about fluids a little bit, we can talk about this. One of the upcoming videos I have is to change the real rear axle fluid, right? The differential. So this is the correct fluid to use right here for that rear differential for the specific one that I have. Sorry, I'm not talking well there. However, that is not the correct fluid to use for the front differential on this four wheel drive vehicle. So you really have to be careful what you're using here while we're at it. You can also talk about coolant. This gold is the particular coolant for my vehicle. Careful. So the, the big point is if you own a Ford or a few Fords, especially on the trucks that have the four wheel drive right now, we're talking about more things like transfer cases, like a front differential. So there's more and more things here that you need different fluids for. So what you're gonna end up doing is having a garage full of all kinds of different fluids. One good way to do this is to maybe get a Sharpie and write on each one, right? This is rear only, write on here exactly what this one does. So this is for transfer cases, is the only thing I'm gonna be using it for. This one right here is gonna be for transmission and power steering for me, but I cannot use it in the transfer cases, even though it feels like it can. I need to be very clear that I cannot do that. 
All right, friends. Hey, I hope this video helped you out. I know it's confusing on these trucks. Once you kind of get it down though, especially I'm thinking maybe if you bought a used one, once you kind of figure out these different systems and what fluids to put where, then I think you'll be in good shape. But keep in mind, the number one way to get a vehicle to last as many miles as possible is to change out these fluids on a regular basis and maybe even before the manufacturer's recommendation. But if you put in the wrong fluids, wow, you can really you know, backfire on you there. Now all of a sudden you've gone from being proactive and getting extra miles to possibly cutting short the life of your vehicle or at least that particular part of your vehicle. All right, friends, we'll see you next time.